Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. I received a longer Ray 5 20 watt laser engraver and was asked to create some content featuring it. So I'm excited to see what kind of projects that I might be able to make along the way with it. So today we're going to be unboxing it. Um, I'm going to talk about a little bit about the, the specs and make some observations along the way. So let's get into it. All right, so let's get into this package. First impressions, um, package seems pretty clean. No damage on the outside. Sent pretty quickly too from, uh, from Longer in California. Longer sent me, in addition to the Ray 520 watt laser engraver, they also sent the Honeycomb work table. And according to their website, this is designed to protect the, uh, the surface area that you're working on, so your desk and improve airflow for the uh, laser engraver. Uh, again, this sits right underneath the laser engraver itself. Um, a little bit of int information about it. It is 400 by 400 millimeters or about 15.7 inches by 15.7 inches. And the uh, grill itself is pretty thick. Um, according to the website, it says about nine millimeters and it's made of iron and aluminum. So good for heat dissipation. So nice thing about this is it's kind of a universal device so if you have other laser engravers or if you're thinking about getting something like this they do offer that on their website and i believe it's on sale right now first impressions it's pretty solid uh, but we'll talk a little bit more about it in my review video before we get into the unboxing of the ray 520 watt i just wanted to put on the screen the specs for any of those who are curious stick around to the end of the video for some recommendations for those who already have a unit now you might notice this box has a little bit of damage on it, um, which that's kind of interesting considering it was damaged inside the other box. So I think it was uh, maybe damaged uh, at the factory. But uh, as I open up the package, no issues there. In fact, it's got the manual in there nice and neat and clean and everything else in there so far seems like it's in good shape. So in no particular order, uh, you can see here, I just kind of grabbed the uh, IEC C15 power cord and next we see something that's very very useful and of course required when using this device is the uh, protective glasses uh, definitely definitely wear those when using the machine and next we have the actual ac adapter itself now the input for this is at uh, 100 to 240 volt at 2.5 amps and the output is 24 volts at 5,000 milliamps. Now this is the US uh, power supply, but they do make one for Europe as well. Now the Ray 5 can be controlled uh, several different ways. One, as you can see here, the USB cable, uh, that's about five feet there. Or two, you can have it software directly on the controller itself. You don't even need a PC. And then finally, also you can configure it to use Wi-Fi. Next, we have a single bag that contains uh, several other little bags that are nicely referenced in the quick start. Now, full disclosure, unfortunately, I recorded an entire unboxing and ran out of memory on my memory card. So that's why that bag there is still open because, well, I had to put everything back in the box. And so that's kind of unfortunate. But anyway, that is what it is. As you can see here in that particular bag here, it comes with uh, three sample pieces of plywood. And you may have seen some things fall out. Uh, there were some uh, cable ties or zip ties that were in there. We've got a wooden brush, again, very useful. And then also too, we see that there are some Allen wrenches inside this bag too. It's nice that it comes with all the components, including a wrench. Uh, everything that you need really to assemble this uh, device. Now, what's cool about these Allen wrenches, wrenches are they're not just your standard Allen wrenches. These include a ball end, and that is really convenient for getting at uh, various angles, um, unlike your standard Allen wrench, which sometimes can be a little more difficult. So it's nice that th that has that uh, feature there. Just makes assembly just that much easier. And as mentioned, it does contain uh, separate bags that are listed. Uh, they actually list the step that's right on the bag themselves and their contents of the bag. So 
again, leaves um, a little less confusion as far as what you need to do when following the steps. Um, and you can see here that uh, those are just the, uh, the, the braces for the extruded aluminum. And again, just kind of showing what's, uh, what's in each one of these bags here. Again, it's nice still that it's, uh, everything's really easily labeled. And just looking at the quick start guide itself, um, yeah, it makes it uh, really simple. Everything is well labeled. And uh, I'll show some, some footage of that uh, later on in the video of what the, the quick start guide looks like in more detail. And there's our timing belt and the various assortments of M5 bolts. Next, we have an included TF card reader and a memory card as well. On the memory card is a few sample projects. We have uh, manuals in PDF format that also link to the website. Uh, an instructional video, which also links to the YouTube channel, which includes plenty more uh, videos there. And then finally, it has uh, some software on it. Uh, laser tool for Mac and Windows. Uh, laser gerbil for Windows and Lightburn for Windows. Next, of course, we have the heart and soul of the engraver is the laser. Of course, this is the Ray 5 20 watt, so that's the output power. It's considered a class 2 laser, so make sure to wear your protective glasses when you're using it. And uh, as far as quality goes, it feels really solid. It's, uh, it's quite heavy, um, and you can see there. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how it, it performs in the review. And next we have the control box, which includes a power switch at the top as well as a TF memory slot and USB port. And then on the other side, we have the power connector and then the cable harness. And nice thing about this cable harness is everything is already pre-cut and pre-assembled. So there's uh, no need to measure or make any custom cables. As you can see there, uh, these are ready to go. So it'll help to alleviate uh, making any mistakes and hopefully make the assembly process as simple as possible. And now we get into more of the structural with the framing feet. And of course the gantry, the biggest assembly for sure. And it's got some nice features on it here. We actually have measuring lines and you can actually see the millimeter marks as well as a ruler on there for uh, imperial lines or imperial marks. It's pretty sizable. It's nice. And then finally, we have the extruded aluminum, which uh, again is for structural. This is going to basically be the frame where everything is assembled into. And uh, again, similar to what we just saw there, um, these of course are extruded aluminum pieces that have custom holes and some other components that are uh, included in on it. So as you can see here again, we've got our, our marks that we're accustomed to um, so yeah it's uh it seems pretty stout again it's uh something that seems like you could potentially even upgrade um without too much difficulty there and it's nicely marked again you can kind of see that here the holes that are, are pre-drilled uh, so again the assembly process should be really really simple and we'll find out that out in the next video for sure and of course we got our nice branding on there and uh, yeah, it looks good though. I mean, it, it definitely feels like a um, quality device. I look forward to assembling it. So one recommendation I can have for anyone who already owns a Ray 520 watt or perhaps is looking to get more information about it, I highly recommend going to the uh, longer3d.com website, going to the product page, scrolling all the way down on the page and clicking on the download tab. Now that's gonna reveal uh, things you can actually download, uh, such as an updated manual. Very important, the parameter table, uh, which talks about the things you can engrave as well as cut, and a lot of the details that you're gonna need when actually using the device. Uh, in addition to that, it's gonna have updated software, uh, possibly even updated test files uh, and instructions and so forth. And one thing that I recommend too is the manual that is on the website is uh, more detailed than the printed manual um, that comes in the box. Now the printed manual of course is really good and in fact the one on the website is very similar to it but it just has more information. For example menus, 
and options and so forth that uh, are present on the controller that the printed manual just cannot talk about. It's just too small uh, to cover that. But the PDF is always going to be up to date. So highly recommend doing that. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you found the information informative. If you did, please leave a like. That certainly helps this channel out. So stay tuned for more content featuring the Ray 5 20 watt laser engraver. And if you have any ideas of what kind of things you'd love for me to use the engraver for, please do leave a comment. I, I read everyone and uh, certainly would appreciate uh, any thoughts that you had. And of course, if you want to stay up to date on the latest content featuring the Ray 5, and of course, the CNC build project that I continue to do, I'm making good progress on that, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I can't read. Luke, I'm illiterate. <laughs> Stick to the script. <laughs> oh boy, that's not, I don't want to say that. <laughs> oh boy.